All right, welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful sunny day today, uh, finally. So we're gonna get outside and we're gonna mess it with some solar stuff. There's a bit of gear I've been testing for a little bit. It's uh, the All Powers 2500 solar generator, and it's paired up with their uh, SP37 400 watt folding solar panel. So All Powers were kind enough to send me this setup around two months ago to test and give an honest review for you lovely viewers. Now I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I wanted to give you guys a proper look. And like not like a big spec sheet kind of thing, but just a real world experience like how I found it, um, what it's like to carry, what kind of tools and things can, can you use with it and can you rely on it in like a sticky situation like power outage or something. Right, so right off the bat, when it showed up, I was impressed. It's got solid packaging, nothing fancy, just all the bits you need. And uh, the unit itself is pretty hefty, but not over the top. It feels really sturdy, like the finish, the fit and the finish of the plastic, everything just feels really nice. Nice rubber on the handles. And um, it's got a 2000, 2000 watt capacity, so you're getting a proper battery. Um, and it's running a 2,500 watt pure sine wave inverter, which means it can handle serious appliances and tools with a 4,000 watt peak. So things like air compressors or some, sometimes miter saws or things that have like a bit of surge with them, uh, can handle that with no problem. And it comes with all the usual, like your cables, plugs, and your solar leads, so your MC4s and uh, car charging, if you're out and about, which is a nice touch. Um, and the unit itself is clean, Big side vents, solid handles, good display, nice and bright. And the uh, screen gives you real info, what's in, what's out, time remaining, percentage, all of that. And you've got four AC outlets, USBs, including a 100 watt USB-C and your DC ports. And what I like is that you don't need to baby it and it's built for proper work, it's plug and play and it's just ready to go. And then uh, the 400 watt solar panel it folds up like a big briefcase and I, I really wasn't sure like what to expect with this i wasn't is this gonna be flimsy or fiddly or um but it's pretty pretty easy to set up you can see me doing it here and uh set it up in no time and then the kickstands they fold out and uh the mc4 connectors they snap in you're off and i've been getting 300 to 380 watts on sunny days and it's a 400 watt panel uh, so you're looking around six to seven hours of full sun to charge back up. However, the R2500 does take up to 1000 watts of solar input, which is huge. So you could recharge this thing in around two hours if you have the sun and the panels to match that. And uh, in real life, the uses that I've used it for, I've used this thing to run my miter saw. I've used this thing to run my fridge. And I've even hooked it up as a backup power through my consumer unit. So it's all off grid and the R2500 didn't even blink. So you just plug in and go, it's super quiet. Um, and for bigger jobs, it has a max of 1,500 watts AC input from the wall. So you can fully charge from the mains in under two hours. And there's something I think more people should pay attention to with this thing. It's, it has a UPS feature. And uh, so it's got a 15 millisecond switch over. So if the power goes out, it kicks in fast enough that most electronics don't even notice it. And uh, if a storm happens, like what we had earlier this year with Storm Eowyn, if you're in Ireland, you know the one, there's thousands of people that lost their powers for days and even weeks in some places. And having this set up with a fridge, and lights, your Wi-Fi router, even just to boil a kettle, it's a game changer. There's no fumes, there's no pull start, there's no racket, and you can run it inside the house silently. And that gives me a lot of peace of mind because I was running purely off a generator for a long time before I got my, my bigger solar panel set up. And it got pretty miserable pretty quickly and I kind of wish that I got something more like this back then. And uh, for the batteries with this, I know a lot of people have issues and they're concerned about lithium ion. Um, but these are lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're not lithium ion. And these are a long life, they're rated for over 3,500 charge cycles. So you can get 10 years of regular use with this. And the lithium ion phosphate, they have a, they don't have as high a risk of um, catching fire like the lithium ion batteries do. So it's a lot safer. They're a lot more uh, thermally stable. So it just means that it doesn't overheat. And 
it can even take a knock or two even if you dropped the thing like some li older lithium ion batteries um if they get damaged or overcharged the chemistry doesn't hold the same as um, the makeup here but there is a little bit of a downside with the uh, lithium iron phosphate is that it's a bit heavier but it's a trade-off for the stability and the lifespan that you get um, so you're getting a better battery basically <laughs> for those that aren't that interested in this stuff um, so it just gives you peace of mind and there's expansion batteries as well and you can hook up to three B1000 units and boost your capacity even further so if you're thinking about going long term off grid or your van life or whatever you can really expand this and have a proper home setup. Um, and there's a companion app with this and it can connect over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Uh, you can monitor the charge levels, you can turn the ports on and off remotely. And it's handy if the generator is in your shed or if it's out on the patio with the panels and you're inside brewing your tea or whatever. Um, I didn't think I'd use it, but I actually found it to be quite useful uh, just to be able to check up on things or just turn things on and off, you know. Uh, if I'm busy inside or I don't have time to get out there and then we'll get into like what I really love about this is having a silent source of power there's a little like the little fan in there but it's like it's nothing that you'd ever notice and um, it's like it's nothing compared to the petrol generator that I have and it charges up really fast both the solar and the wall um, and it powers actual tools and sometimes even my generator is a two kilowatt generator it does, can't handle the same surges that this can handle and it just works it just you plug it in and there's no faffing around you don't need to oil it you don't need to ch check on the spark plug or whatever it just it just goes and um, there are a couple of things that maybe you could tweak uh like the carrying it across gravel or whatever it's like you can see here like i've carried across the garden it's a bit of bit of a workout but this is because i have a larger unit and there's plenty of smaller lighter weight ones available so if you are getting something of this size and you plan on moving it around quite often you might want to get it like a sack truck or a trolley and some longer solar cables would be nice like the panels want sun the generator wants shade but you can always get mc4 cables and extend it yourself so it's not really a big deal um so that's the all powers r2500 and they're 400 watt solar panels and for me it's the perfect blend of like a workshop tool it's a backup system and an off-grid companion and if you're building something or living rural you're prepping for storms or you want power that doesn't hum and smoke these things are worth taking a serious look at and yeah that's it for me thanks for hanging out and i'll be back soon and maybe i'll finally finish the inside of this shed but uh, yeah, cheers for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. And uh, oh, before I go, if you are interested in the All Powers 2500 R2500 or the folding solar panels, I've left links in the description for you to check out. They've got smaller units if you just want something for camping or casual use and bigger ones if you're looking for a full off grid or need serious backup. And if you do decide to grab one, I've got a 10% discount code down there as well. And you can save yourself a few quid while you're at it. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.